Ladies, move in, move in. Lens. Well, well, hello to all of you and congratulations. I can safely say as a film independent member that yes, I voted for this film and yes, I voted for Deborah. I love this film. What is it when this came across your desk? What is it that spoke to each of you and said, I must make this film? Um, for, for me, Linda and I read the book um, almost 10 or 12 years ago, and it was, uh, there was such an extraordinary voice, number one. It was told from the point of view of the girl, um, and the landscape of the rainforest in Oregon was so lush and beautiful and filmic, and um, I think finally the relationship between the daughter and the father, and that just heartbreaking thing of... Of, of having two divergent lives when love is right in the center of it. Um, so that that's what what drew us to, or me to it, and then it became, well, and then Deborah made it her own version of that, which is quite extraordinary. Yeah, no, I agree absolutely with what Anne was saying, and also I think the, the story of a girl who's really coming into her own against very unusual and unique circumstances and making choices about living differently from her father who she really loved. So, yeah. uh, well, I think um, for me, I think uh, Deborah and I are always looking for projects that give us um, an opportunity to dive into a world, a culture, a place, a, a landscape or a landscape that, that we that we can explore and research and and dig our you know dig into and I think this world that he um, uh, wrote in my abandonment was was a world that we wanted to kind of dive into and didn't know about and 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 we felt like as filmmakers will was, was going to provide us with a really rich experience of, of filmmaking as filmmakers yeah did you ever think in your wildest dreams that the film would gain the acclaim that it has gotten and that now you'd end up here? A multiple nom multiple nominee nominations? Um, I can say no, not in my wildest dreams. And I and I just, you know, I think we all agree that we owe a lot to the critics and the journalists who rallied around the film and supported the film and wrote about it and wrote about it and wrote about it um, and really, you know, kept it in the conversation for a long time. But it wouldn't have happened without the film that Deborah made. So, you know, that, you know, when we saw that, we knew, you know, that there was something here, that there was something quite extraordinary. How do you luck out to get the talent that you got for this film? Well, I mean, it's funny, Tom um, had actually watched Winter's Bone, our first film, and um, aspired to work with Deborah. So, weirdly, when her tape came into our um, inbox, it was kind of a fortuitous uh, moment. We had never thought of casting someone out of New Zealand, that's for sure. But, um, you know, I think that actors see what what kind of roles that Deborah uh, provides for them, very full-bodied, robust roles, especially for young women, and, uh, you know, Ben as well. Um, uh, and and so, Right, and so, so I think that, um, I think that the, the material attracts, the roles attract great talent, because they, who doesn't want a meaty, robust, beautifully realized role? And here you've got two extremely meaty and robust roles, I gotta tell you. Oh, ladies can... Ben is pretty amazing too, that guy is stunning. Yeah, I'll watch Ben in anything. I think that's safe to say, you know, for all of us. Oh, ladies, congratulations! My fingers are crossed. Thank you!